Hey boos, in this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Oh, hell no. Hi guys, it's Yanni and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Wendy Williams and the recent backlash that she received from the LGBTQ plus community regarding her hot topic segment that was done on Valentine's Day. And also I'm going to be getting into Dwayne Wade and how he recently made the announcement that he is no longer referring to his son as a he, he is now a she, and now he wants the world to refer to her as Zaya. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. First up, let's go ahead and take a look to see what was actually said during Hot Topics on the Wendy Williams show that had the LGBTQ plus community in an uproar. If you're participating in Galentine's Day. <laughs> well, first of all, if you're a man and you're clapping, you're not even a part of this, okay? <laughs> All right, you don't even understand the rules of the day. It's women going out and getting saucy and then going back home. Yeah, you're not a part. I don't care if you're gay. You don't get a mency every 28 days, all right? You can do a lot that we do but I get offended by the idea that we go through something you will never go through. And stop wearing our skirts and our heels. <laughs> Just saying girls, what do we have for ourselves? Before digging deep into this conversation, one thing that I wanna highlight that I feel a lot of people are overlooking when it comes to this, to me, I saw a woman lashing out. I saw a woman who hasn't been single within the last 21 years, who recently went through a divorce, who is, you know, reminded on Valentine's Day that she's single at her age. And I feel that that is being overlooked. Now, I agreed with everything Wendy Williams said leading up until she said, stop wearing our skirts and our heels. Why? Trying to police the next person on how they should live their life just isn't something that I am about. I feel a person has the choice to do whatever they choose and please to do with themselves and with their life. However, when it comes to Wendy Williams, this is a triggering day for any single woman. Doesn't matter what age you are. This is a woman who hasn't been single within the last 21 years. And so she's really feeling it now. And I think what she was trying to say was, you know, Valentine's Day is about women and can we have something for ourselves? She was just a little frustrated because she hasn't really dealt with this for some time now. I mean, she was married to Kelvin Hunter for 21 years. And so every single girl knows that on Valentine's Day, it is highlighted, it is broadcasted, and that we are pretty much singled out because we're not in a relationship or we don't have a man. So I understood where Wendy Williams was coming from. However, I also understand why the LGBTQ plus community was upset with her because she took it too far she has every right to feel how she feels her feelings are valid however trying to police the next person just isn't something that she should have done during her segment with hot topics but she recently made an apology video so let's go ahead and take a look at that and then i'll be back for the remainder of my commentary um I'll start by saying I apologize. I did not mean to offend my LGBTQ plus community. 
I didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm just having a conversation. If you know me long enough, then you know. Bon vivant. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds fabulous. In my mind, it means live and let live. Bon vivant. And I live and let live every day. Life is too short. I'm 55 years old, and maybe I sounded like your auntie, your mother, your big sister, or somebody out of touch. I'm not out of touch, except for perhaps yesterday by saying what I said. So I deeply apologize, and I deeply appreciate the support that I get from the community. <clears throat> I will do better. Do you feel that her apology was sincere? I saw a lot of people on Twitter that were saying that gay men were not offended, but we all know that it was the trans community that was really offended by what she said. And the reason for that is just because trans people are bullied. Some are even murdered for simply wearing skirts and dresses. And also some have been disowned by their families. And some are also just battling with the fact that they want to be able to wear skirts and dresses because that's what's more appealing to them when it comes to their wardrobe. But when it comes to society, they're told that that's not appropriate. So we have to understand one another when it comes to these topics as far as Wendy saying what she said as far as feeling offended that people like to calculate womanhood to skirts and dresses we have to understand how she feels within that moment being that she's a 55 year old woman but we also have to understand trans people and their plight and the different things that they go through throughout their lifetime when it comes to just being trans for them just being who they say simply are and the things that they battle with and go through on a daily basis. So that's all that I have regarding Wendy Williams. Let's go ahead and move on to Dwayne Wade. So many parents that are just, oh, you're not going the way I imagined or wanted you to be and freak out and you're so loving and supportive of Zaya and, and what a special child she is. Yes, she is. She is. Thank you so much for that. Um, first of all, me and my wife, my wife Gabrielle, um, Union, we are we are proud. When I say proud, we are proud parents um, of a child in the LGBTQ plus uh, community, and we're proud allies as well. Um, and we we take our, our roles and our responsibility as parents very seriously. Um, so when I when our child comes home with a question, when our child comes home with an issue, when our child comes home with anything, it's our job as parents to listen to that, to give them the best information that we can, the best feedback that we can. Um, and that doesn't change because sexuality is now involved in it. So once Zaya, a 12-year-old, came home, um, and first Zion, everybody, I don't know if everyone knows, originally named Zion, Zion born um, as a boy, came home and said, hey, uh, so I want to talk to you guys. Um, you know, I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth. And I want to be uh, referenced as she and her. Uh, I would love for you guys to call me Zaya. And so internally, now is our job to, one, go out and get information, to reach out to every relationship that we have. My wife reached out to everybody on the, the uh, cast of Pose. Um, and we're just trying to figure out as much information we can to make sure that we give our child the best opportunity to be, you know, her best self. So a lot of people within the black community are upset by this because they feel that this is wrong. This is unacceptable. However, when it comes to me, honestly, I just see a black father supporting his son. I just see a black father supporting his son. I see a black family supporting their son and it's a rare sight to see. I personally grew up in a household where if I wasn't doing what my parents thought I should be doing or they felt I needed to do, they would never support me. So this is a rare thing to see, especially when it comes to the black community. I mean, when I was in school, I wanted to do art, but my parents were like, no, you can't do art because art doesn't pay the bills. You need to go be a doctor or a lawyer. But I'm like, I love art. 
and they just didn't want to support me with art and I had to do what they wanted me to do or else I wasn't going to get the support that I needed. And as a child, you need support. So when I look at this Dwayne Wade situation, I see a father that is simply supporting his child. And, you know, what I don't like is that so many people are putting in their two cents and this entire situation does not affect them in any way, shape or form. So why are you bothered by it? This is like parenting 101. How I parent my kids may not be the way that you want to parent your kids doesn't mean I'm parenting my kids wrong. You know, so I don't understand why people are so upset by this. I will say this and I have to keep it real with you guys. Now, the only thing that I don't agree when it comes to the Wade family is the fact that they're going on these press runs speaking on their child's sexuality when their child is not present. I don't like that. When I watched the Aaron Hernandez Netflix series, this man's sexuality was being exploited and he wasn't there to defend himself. He wasn't there to speak on his sexuality for himself. Now I understand Zaya she is 12 years old. However, if she can make this decision to be a she, she can also make the decision and she also has the tools within herself. She has a responsibility within herself to voice her opinions and how she feels about her sexuality. So why not take her with Dwayne Wade when they go on these interviews? So that's the only thing that I really don't agree with. Understand the way family wants to set that example for the world, that this is how you handle this kind of situation. You don't belittle your child. You don't abandon your child. You support your child no matter what. And that's the message that I'm getting from all of this. I don't care that it's about sexuality, gender identity. I don't care. I love the fact that they are just supporting their child for who they are and not for what they want the child to be, but simply for who they are. And that's what I love about this entire situation. I don't care about gender, this sexuality, that I just love the fact that they are supportive parents. So that's all that I have regarding this video. You guys, I would love your thoughts and opinions. So make sure you comment them down below respectfully. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you are notified for when I upload and I'll catch you in my next one.